The Sam Livecast is brought to you by Fixers Living. Check them out on the internet at fixersliving.com or love them on the Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Fixers Living. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. That's what they do. Everybody, welcome to the Sam Livecast. I'm Sam. It's Friday. It's the end of the week. We're excited about the weekend. We're excited about the food we're going to make today. I'm making smoked salmon deviled eggs. OMG, they're so damn good. I'm excited about this yes. whole damn week. So damn it's good. It's been great. You got Lynn sitting there beside you. Mm-hmm. Maxie's there. Everybody's here. We're all happy. You're wearing some color. I yeah. got a little color on Hog Island Oyster Company. I'm Yum. just let me a shout out to them up in the Bay Area. I'm gonna make a bold prediction and say yes. that I'm not the only one that's gonna notice you're wearing some color. Well, we all just talked you know about what it, it is. So. No, I'm not saying out of us three. I'm saying out of fa- oh, okay, fans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, it's the fr- like I'm just you look. It, there's some color in the middle of the frame, and it, I normally don't see that. You're no longer just a floating head wearing yep. a black shirt. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I ran into a girl the other day. It was the grocery outlet uh, event last, uh, whenever, uh, a week ago. Mm-hmm. I ran into a girl there who's from Canada, where I'm from. Mm-hmm. She said, I used to watch you there. In Canada? In Canada. And I said, well, not on TV in Canada. She goes, no, no. We watched it. And every so often, you know, like, like the show's technically not in Palm Springs, but Palm Springs gets the show from like a feed here in San Diego because we're close enough. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking maybe it's a weird thing like that. I go, maybe it's the Discovery series. I go, when was this? She goes, um, this was 1996. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it wasn't on TV in 1996. <laughs> she goes, no, no, no. We watched you. I go, you didn't watch me. She goes, yeah, for sure it was you. I go, I'm telling you, it wasn't, it wasn't me. She goes, well, maybe I had my dates wrong. I go, maybe. She goes, 98? I go, no. It was not on TV to 2002. Who the hell was she watching? You know, what a weird thing to recall. Oh, you know, 15 years ago I was watching, I was watching the show. It was you. Who remembers what they were Who watching? Could it, been? Could it have been years Alton ago? Brown? Yes, I was actually just going to Google that. I mean, I do look Probably. a little bit like Alton Brown. I think it's just the glasses. He's way skinnier now, too. Oh, he is. Do yeah. I look like him? Mm, I could see how maybe N- somebody no, would think. No, I mean, he used to not wear these glasses. He used to wear thicker frames. He remember? did. Can we maybe see, like, Alton Brown 1990s? Maybe. I'm trying to see if he was on. Alton he Brown was on 1990? 1998. That's when he first aired. 1998? 1998? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So we'll, we'll see if you can find him then. Wow, Good Eats has been going on that long. Oh, That's kind of cool. Gosh. Hey, speaking of shows, you yeah. wanted to uh, talk about um, the taste. Oh. <laughs> The taste. So yes. we've had Brian Malarkey mm-hmm. on the show a couple times. He's no, a friend. just once. Only once? Yeah, just, just once. once. He was on the second episode ever. That's true. <laughs> That's right. Episode two. Deuce. Only once. Okay. So Brian Malarkey was on. He's a friend. He was on that uh, ABC show called The Taste with Anthony Bourdain, Nigella Lawson, and Ludo Lefebvre. Wait, who's the last one? Ludo Lefebvre. He's the... He's oh. the French guy from... Uh, I think he's L.A. There you go. Ludo on the left. Ludo. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Accent, Ludo right? Bites. That's right. Ludo Bites, right? Got it. All right. So I'll read this to you. That's a pretty talented cast. Uh, the Taste season finale. Ratings hit all-time series low. What? what? And here's the, the, the article. This is, this is from the Brazer, right? That dull thud you hear is the clunky demise of The Taste, which we think we can safely assume won't be back for another season. In spite of the perfect marriage of Bourdain and Lawson at the helm. The series kicked off with promise, scoring ABC's highest premiere ratings in two years. They did pimp the hell out of that. Yes. They did, yeah. Brian pimped the heck out of it, too. Would you say? Brian pimped the heck out of it, too. Of course, as he should have, right? Of course, yeah. But the numbers tanked quickly afterward and stayed in the gutter all the way to the bitter finale. Uh, Do you know why? No. Well, I, I guess I, people didn't like it. I haven't seen the show, so I guess I wouldn't. I've actually, you I, know, I've seen it, and I'm not going to lie. It was kind of enjoyable. It was a different kind of concept of a cooking show, which is, which is, I think is refreshing considering there's so much of the same stuff out there. But, right. but well, I hmm. guess apparently didn't hold. I mean, 
Oftentimes, bold ideas don't, you know. That's why, that's why I believe I'm not on TV all across the whole country. I'm too <laughs> bold of an idea. The article goes on to read, Our briefly brainstormed suggestions for next time. Replace malarkey. Oh. But then who would we make fun of? Oh. oh. Ow. Put Nigella in some jewel tones. Not that she doesn't look effortlessly, spectac- effortlessly spectacular in the ubiquitous black and red getup she was sporting this season. There you go. She's in red. Subtitle Ludo, because he's hard to understand. <laughs> Broadcast the Bourdain family Big Gay Ice Cream live stream viewing party in some sort of ABC bonus app. <laughs> Buy forever the taste. We had watching fun. We had fun watching chefs like Jose Andres, Gabrielle Hamilton, Mario Carbone, and Rich Teresi on network primetime while it lasted. Hmm. Boom. That's a bummer. Do you I know mean, what the what the actual numbers were? Does the article say? Well, it said the finale. Numbers tanked quickly and stayed in the gutter all the way to the bitter finale, which screeched to a 3.36 million viewer halt. Okay, period. so... Wait, that's, it reads this. 3.36 million viewer halt, period. Rough, period. Trajectory is so important. And if you are declining the entire time, and especially your season finale is your all-time lowest show... That's just that's a clear uh, indication that the show needs to go. Yeah. It needs to done. It needs to go. I mm-hmm. watched. Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, the one with the big hair. Hmm. Restaurant. Uh, oh, uh, Chef Wa- Anne Burrell. Burrell, yeah. Anne Burrell. I watched her Chef Wanted. Have you seen that? I've no. seen it. It was it was actually kind of cool, like the concept, but then. It's terribly executed. Yeah, th- that's what I was just gonna say. Like, you she's want not to- good. She tries way too. She's way over the top. Way over. Tries the top. way too hard. Mm-hmm. And then the mistake is, then they let like regular restaurant managers and owners and shit get into the picture, and yeah. those people are even worse over the top. That's some quite some hair. Yeah, that's quite some hair. And her show with Bobby Flay, where Chefs in America, is not a good show. I don't. Think. Okay, that show is full of actors. That's all it is. You and know that. So no, I just, you could tell. Oh, I see what you're saying. I mean, it, or if they, if you, if they aren't actors, they are people who can't cook but are trying to act like actors. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Right, like, right, right, right. It's very obvious to me. And that's what they do, right? They kind of like stack these shows with people who aren't necessarily they're not supposed to supposed to be shows. there, but they're not I mean, supposed to stack those shows. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me just do this for its 40th. Let me just get this situated. Uh, take your time, here. Ben. For its 40th anniversary, Japan burger chain Loteria sold two burger towers, one a minaret made of cheeseburger and the other a high-rise fried shrimp burger. There they are. Oh, my. What? <laughs> fried shrimp on the, le- on the right, cheeseburger. Oh, did you the, see uh, they uh, like opened up the bottom one to show you the shrimp poking out there? Yeah. I guess it's I, just I like mean, a shrimp patty, like a whole bunch of shrimp stuck together. Is this together. supposed to just be like... Um, Making fun of Americans, I don't know, I don't, uh, internationally, I don't know and, and then I found it's kind of like a caricature of what we eat. And then I found the picture of this cheeseburger pizza, <laughs> which I think is pretty clever from someplace over there. I think it's I think it's Domino's or Pizza Hut in Japan. That looks tasty. I don't know about you guys. It actually is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool looking thing. Well, do you remember the thing we showed the other day? It was like a a patty stuffed with macaroni and bacon and fried and yes. That was a Japanese McDonald's thing. Uh, while I'm on these pictures, the supermarket the other day, I find this kid. <laughs> Does he have his towel on? <laughs> What's wrong with that picture? Well, he has no shoes on. Right. How do you feel about that? <laughs> well, we've talked about this. I have a huge problem with people not wearing shoes in the grocery store, but you the other day said you didn't. No, I said I was at People's with that vegan place. Yeah. And the kid was there, and I don't know. Okay, somehow anything, it seemed to... Here's my thing. Anything... That involves food. Yeah. I just don't want to. I don't want to be eating you. or grabbing food and then look down and see somebody's dirty feet. Uh, you're so right. So if it's a restaurant, a grocery store, anywhere, really, I don't want to see your feet. So I believe that this was a one-off. He just ran in to get something in an emergency. Yeah, that could. Be. Yeah, until I saw him yesterday. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and you can't really see his feet here. But so I got a better shot. There no you go. Shoes again. Look at that. Same kid. Same kid. Same girl. So that's that's a high that's school his kid. thing. That's his move. It's a high school he comes kid. out of swimming after school. Yeah. With bare feet, and he goes to the store and he gets his. Here he's getting a Jamba Juice. I don't know what he was buying at the other joint. Mm-hmm. Please. And when I found these the other day, and I tweeted this. Oh. Those are. Um, 
um, wasabi uh, soy almonds. Oh, yes. From Jimbo's. Oh, and my they, God. I was in there buying uh, uh, Israeli couscous. Yeah. Because it's so good, and they have the bulk bins, and it's way cheaper. Way cheaper. And I saw those things, and I grabbed a little bag. I had maybe twice as much as is in my hand there. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stop eating them. I'm surprised you go for the bulk bins after what we talked about public uh, People uh, like reaching in. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Well, what I don't know can't hurt me, I suppose. <laughs> That's true. And then the last thing I'll show you, Kelly went to uh, Boulder to see Zach last weekend. Mm -hmm. Took her mom, Zach's grandmother. Here's uh, an Enterprise rent-a-car slip. It's a bit jacked up. Yeah. Take a look at the daily rate on this uh, Elantra. You can go closer if you want. 16, no, that's... That's not the daily rate. Um, I'm trying to find it. There you go. Two days at $8.07 a day. What? what? Can you believe that? Wow. $8.07 a day, the whole bill including all the taxes and junk for two days worth of rental car, twenty seven ninety three. dollars Did mom like do some she crazy did the, thing to get she a She did this online. She's crazy. She couldn't She's believe it. I don't know how she did that. But I'll tell you this. We've been to Denver. We've been to Denver before to take Zach to school. We rented from, God, I wish I could, I wish I could remember the place. I would say it. It was the most, it was the worst run rental place I've ever seen in my life. We waited, we waited, we waited. People were fighting, coming in, arguing. They returned their car and they go, ah, it was a mess. Enterprise deserves a shout out for how well this is priced. I don't know if you can always get this, but how well they took care of uh, Kelly and my mother-in-law. She said there was a jillion people at the desk. Nobody was waiting more than a couple of minutes. Really friendly. How are you? Thank you for coming over the top. Wow. I, I have a Good quick service. observation. Good service needs to be rewarded. Go use them. Yes. And they're not paying me to say any of that. No, mm -hmm. of course. I wish they were. But, but here's the thing. The daily rate for that, if you do that for 30 days, is $242, which is lower than most people's car payments. Car payments. Wow. Right. That's true. That's amazing. Right. Isn't that insane? She's good at finding those deals. Right. Just rent a car. Forget about buying one. I hear you. Hey, last time uh, during the last show, yeah. I talked about uh, the beet and burrata salad I made. Yeah. And I said I was going to show a picture oh, of it. Oh, you, you. And you, uh, you, I just you. wanted to show this. It was a beautiful little salad. Those are roasted beets sliced into little pieces with the burrata on top. And then that's that chiffonated, <laughs> chiffonated oh, spinach? spinach with roasted... Uh, Almonds and cashews on Look top. At oh, you. Look at you. Going fancy. Oh, yeah. How nice is the uh, is the burrata? I like it. Everybody it's, knows what burrata is? And so that burrata, yeah, it's like a creamy mozzarella. It's like a creamy mozzarella. And so oh, that right. burrata actually came it. from the Hollywood Farmer's Market that oh, we, we go to every Sunday. Yep. And Those it's from this best. local cheese place that yeah. has... We buy that one, and then we buy their cream cheese. Which hey, is if you're the best not going, if you're not going to farmers markets, you're missing a really fun, a really fun thing to do on a weekend. Oh, and yeah. Not to mention a great place to buy all kinds of super fresh meats and produce, and they've got sausages, homemade. I mean, handmade kind of stuff, and it's great. There's always food to eat. There's always some vendors selling already made food to mm -hmm. fill yourself up. But and you know, broader is just, broader is so interesting because it's basically like this mozzarella that they put into like almost a little cheesy pouch. And then it um, soaks in cream for how long? I mean, a good amount of time. Lynn would be the expert, Lynn. I, I actually, I know it's actually really fast because the guy oh. that told, sold me, he says like the fresher it is, the better it tastes. Oh, wow. I but I mean. But it's almost like you break that, you break that outer skin. Yes. And it, it sort of runs slowly oh, yeah. out. Yeah. It is so yummy. Oh, and I can't believe I just said yummy. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. I, didn't, I didn't mean to say that. And the interesting thing is, Here's like, you shot. can find out about these things at those farmers markets. You just right. got to ask. And like, Seriously. you walk by, you're like, hey, what's burrata? I've never seen well, it before. Look at that! That beautiful piece of burrata that you just yeah. showed, right? Mm -hmm. Drizzled with some uh, olive oil. delicious olive oil, a really good extra virgin olive oil. Nothing but salt, fresh ground pepper, and, and tomato, or a little salad, or whatever underneath it. That's a that's a home run. That's not difficult to do. It's a ten out of ten. Absolutely. Hey, um, let's pull up the picture of the burrata margarita pizza because if you're wondering about an application for it, oh we my made God. this. I forgot about that. Unbelievable pizza. I'm Jilly and I. This is part of our you know Wait. cycle of recipes that we are always cooking. And Wait, why am I holding my ear like this? I just realized. I don't know. Why are you? I'm like squeezing my ear down. You're being a weirdo. It's, it's weird. <laughs> you have some little ticks sometimes. <laughs> I guess that's a tick. I don't know. Okay, here it is. Beautiful. Wow. Simple tomato sauce that we made mm -hmm. on the crust. 
And then Barada went on uh, after, after before, because you don't want to know. You put it on after it, it comes out of the oven, much. it'll melt. Yeah, right. You just basically pull it apart. You pull it apart, spread it out on the pizza, and all it got was uh, mozz- was uh, basil, mm-hmm. chopped basil, and I think I drizzled some olive oil. You did. On it. Yep. That was one delicious pizza. Yep. And by the way, I can tell looking at that crust, mm-hmm. that's that tube. Like it Pillsbury it refrigerator, that, and how good was that pizza? That's my one of my one of the it's best. Good. It's good. I mean, here's the thing: like people don't believe me when I say I'm going to make a really darn good pizza, and I bust out the Pillsbury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, just just right. wait, just wait. It's trust me, I've had it before. It's good. Like, uh-huh. don't be a pizza snob, people. That is far preferable mm-hmm. to pretty much any of those re already made crusts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so if you guys want to go check out all of our stuff, you just got to go to the samlivecast.com and head to the search bar. And for something like this, type in Barada. It'll be pulled up right there. It's episode 139. Or you could put pizza in any pizzas we've done. Exactly. Up, it's that exactly. All right. We got to get going into the kitchen. What are we cooking? Yeah. Hey, uh, we're, we're making the smoked salmon devil eggs. And, you know, Easter is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming up. You're going to, some of you, not me, I'm Jewish, mm-hmm. uh, will be uh, coloring up a lot of your Easter eggs. And then they're going to be left over, and what are you going to do with them? Perfect example of something that you can do with them that's uh, delicious. Another thing that's delicious is We All of one of our sponsors, weallof.com. Uh, on the internet, they have 10 stores you can go to. Uh, if you want to do some shopping online, you put my name, Sam, in the uh, Shop Now box up at the top. You get 10% off anything that you buy. They sell only California certified extra virgin olive oils and that is the best uh if you really want to do a little tasting go into one of their stores stand at the counter tell them you like to try a few olive oils olive oils are like uh, cowboy boots one (laughs) pair doesn't fit everybody the same way one type of olive oil doesn't please everybody the same way they'll lay out four five ten try them with bread little sips however you want to do it they'll coach you they'll encourage you they'll help you understand what really good olive oils are all about that's the way to do it. Amen. Or you could go to a cookware store that doesn't know shit about olive oil and stand there and hope that somebody comes over and explains something to you. That's, That's your other option. Probably not the best idea. Probably not the best mm-hmm. option. And by the way, when you're there, if you buy nothing else, buy the uh, balsamic vinegar. Yes. Oh, my God. Their aged balsamic is crazy, which, by the way, I will be using it to put in the chopped liver for Passover. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you very much. Balsamic vinegar. And chopped liver. Yeah. I We've just had it on the bit. show. It's, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. All okay. Right. I'm ready. Let's hit it. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, by the way, Monday show, we will be shooting uh, at Fixtures for it. You'll see us there in all their beautiful glory in Costa Mesa, California. All right. Smoked salmon deviled eggs. Start with peeled, uh, hard-boiled properly eggs. hard-boiled eggs. You go to my website, cookingguy.com, to find out how to hard-boil egg. It's very simple. Eggs go in a pot, cover them with cold water, put them on the heat, bring them to a boil, let them boil two minutes, turn the heat off, put the lid on, let them sit covered for 10 minutes with no heat under them, put them under cold running water, let them cool down, peel them. Boom. That's like that. Nice. So we just need to take these guys, and I know you're going to get mad at me, Max. What, for cutting eggs? For cutting eggs. I suppose oh, I could fine. have I suppose I could have done this. No, right? you know what? You could, I think this is important to show people. How to cut an egg? No, not how to cut an egg, but how to take the how to take hard boiled eggs and turn them into egg salad. Oh, right. Or double eggs. I mean double eggs, right? Yes. Can't hurt. No, I suppose not. I mean I suppose you know, watching all of this is a little bit boring, but Well, it's not the most interesting thing. It's not the most interesting. <laughs> well, what can we talk about while I'm doing this? Uh, who likes deviled eggs? I mean, I think they're they are. Just I love them. I do. I love deviled eggs. Classic old school food. Do you make them, Lynn? I don't because you know what? I let other people make them for me. I see. Because it's a it's a really popular um, what you call it a like a potluck food. You see it all the time at gatherings and things like. Oh that. Oh my God! You know what I think is ridiculous? I'm sure somebody's going to yell at me for this. Is the deviled egg tray that you can buy? <laughs> Have you seen those things? Yeah, yeah they, they sell them everywhere. With the little. Uh, with the little uh, indentations for the eggs. Yeah. And you know, the funny thing is they're on like wedding registries everywhere. Oh, oh so they like, are? Stacy and I are doing one. We're not going to register for that. I refuse to. You're not going to register for those deviled egg carrier? No, but a lot of people get them. Like when you go you know, online to your friend's wedding registry, like that's a very common thing. 
What do you think about just asking for money for your wedding? Can that's, you do that? I totally want to do that. I mean, if I had it my way, that, that's all I would do is just ask for I've money. Is that not just I've, like a little awkward to ask? They, you know what? They have um, things nowadays that make it less awkward. It's like this thing where you can basically register for anything. Your vacation, your honeymoon. Oh, uh, cool. Like yeah, gas. I heard about that. Right. And then what, what it really is, though, is people giving you money. You can do whatever you want with it. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, this one broke. Every so often one breaks. That's okay. You have no choice. You sort of just have to go with it. So we'll get these guys and we'll put them on a plate. Because when we go to fill them up, they need to just be sitting someplace. Mm hmm. Okay, so you got your eggs, right? You got them cut in half. Wow, I didn't realize I was making so many here. Do you think I have the exact number that I want? Look, can he Looks do it? Looks perfect. Looks like I'm going to do this. And I got this. Perfect. Wow. And look at it, and the wrecked one. My mom's going to eat it, right? Yeah. Okay. So we call these smoked salmon deviled eggs, and that means smoked salmon has to go into them. So I buy this lox at the supermarket. It's rich, it's delicious. And we're just going to chop this up. This is one of like five or six things that go into this. I'm going to, uh, wow, Slappy's back. Did you hear that? Slappy is back. That makes back. me so happy. No, I'm trying to walk softly, okay? It's my what? fault. I didn't uh, set the cameras before, <laughs> so it's my fault. Sorry, Lynn. <laughs> we call him Slappy because when he walks... <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep a little bit back. I'll show you for something at the end. Oh, I know what you're going to do with that. Yep. Okay, we just chopped this up fine. You know how hard I was trying to walk really silently? I don't, you know what? <laughs> I just want you to walk the way you're going to walk. I was trying so hard, man, to be a ninja. <laughs> to be a ninja? You're the biggest ninja I've ever seen. Yeah, I would not be a very good ninja. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this, is, this goes in. The ingredient list for this is pretty simple. Oh, and this smells really good. Um, try and buy, buy an oilier lox rather than one that's dry. The dry ones are no fun and they seem to be lesser flavor and stuff. Check out what I bought. I bought mayonnaise with olive oil. I love Ooh. that stuff. You know why? Same size jar weight, half the fat and calories of regular. I'm, has, have you tried this, anybody? I have. Mm. It, it tastes the exact same. Does it? So why wouldn't you buy it? Okay, well, it doesn't taste as, um, like, you know, you can sometimes taste vegetable oil and mayonnaise, but this tastes to me just like what I think mayonnaise should taste like. Just really creamy and So smooth. I don't, for some reason, I don't, you know, I'm a fan of the Japanese QP mayonnaise. For this, I, don't, I like, like regular mayonnaise, but. Yeah, taste it. It just tastes the same to me. Right? Good? Yeah. It's um it's almost like a little bit tangier Lynn. Yeah, it, I for mean for some reason. It doesn't taste as like oily. Like when I taste mayonnaise from like or like if you get like bad mayonnaise, right. sometimes it just tastes like you you just drank a little bit of vegetable oil or something, you know? Right. Okay. Cholula. A little bit. You can't go crazy. You don't wanna I mean single ingredients can completely blow away. You know, the flavors of everything else that you've got. Oh my, here we go. Okay, good. I need some red onion. And this is what I didn't cook for those little kids on Wednesday. Mm. Uh, or whatever day that was. So I like this diced up. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to chop these into little tiny bits. I like everything in this to be small. Red onion, one of the great glorious foods of the world, mm -hmm. especially sauteed red onions. It really is. I love that sweetness. Yeah. Okay, this chopped up pretty nice. It goes in there. I don't want too much. Well, I can smell it. Absolutely. And so you know you can, you can buy. Um, Hard-boiled eggs, 
already done at the supermarket, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Costco sells like a 50 pack, or maybe it's a 24 pack or something. What would one of my recipes be without green onion? <laughs> of course. It would be nothing. Hey, you know what? I was in the store the other day to get leeks for the potato leek flatbread. Yeah. It was pretty uh, expensive. Like, the they leeks. weren't cheap, yeah. Leeks are not They definitely not weren't cheap. cheap. Well, I think, look at their size. I guess that makes sense. Because leeks are what? Like, they're like a dollar something a pound, but you buy three leeks and it's like a pound and a half. Right. Or, you know. I don't, yeah. Okay, so. Look at them all run off. You know what? If they made square green onions. You'd buy them. I would buy them. Oh, man. <laughs> they wouldn't go anywhere. What's really cool is, a, have you seen the, the baby green onions? Oh, yes. They're super tiny. Like the miniature ones? Yeah. Like the whole green onion fits in the palm of your hand. Yeah. They're really cute. I mean, what are all these scientists wasting their time with cancer research? Shouldn't they be working <laughs> on square green onions? <laughs> right. Isn't, wasn't that an old Jerry Seinfeld I bit? I think so. Exactly. Yeah. Those seedless watermelons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this chopped up pretty nice, too. In it goes. I don't think there's very much left. A little bit of salt, not too much, because there's all the, the fish has got, you know, a little saltiness to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I need some mustard, which is green onion, lox, mustard. And I think this is it, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. What did I just say needed? Oh, some mustard. And I like the grainy. So a little bit of this. Not too much, because that will absolutely overtake the whole thing. Spoon. So you have to break up the yolks, sorry for the noise. But if you don't break up the yolks, you're going to get like a giant piece of yolk, and that's going to throw the whole thing off. So just flatten them against the edge. Look how pretty this inside is going to be. Oh, yeah. We, of course, feel free to add more mayo if you like it more moist. Is moisture a word? Moisture. No. Moisture. Oh, moisture. It's not. It's more moist. Yes. Yeah. If you want it more moist, feel free to add a little more mayo. Like I can see this is a little drier than I'd like it. This is cooking. This is cooking. All right, almost done. It looks like confetti, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. The white and the red, and, or the yellow, red, and green. Oh, mother, mother. Nice, okay, so here's the deal. What's the deal? Here's what you do. You open up a Ziploc bag. Are you doing a little... Uh, yes. Piping bag there. A little piping bag. Why are you doing that? You're going to see. You're crazy. <laughs> what? You're crazy. This is what you do. This is the easiest way to do this. Okay. Oh. You take your scissors. I think I know what you're gonna do. Wow. Take your scissors, seal it up. Make the opening big enough for that salmon to come out. Hope I hope I got it big enough. There we wow. go. Wow. Cool. How pretty is that? And you know, by the time that you, uh oh, I got a piece of egg that I didn't bust well enough. By the time you do this, you know you're going to end up with more inside than egg, right? Right. Mm -hmm. 
because you've added all this stuff and you've bulked this whole thing up. Um, and that's fine. Then you just put it in the fridge and you have Make it. more later. Right, you have it the next day with uh, like on little, little toasty pieces of rye bread or something. Mm. Yeah. It's really good. Okay. Wow, beautiful work. Almost there. It's green onions on top. Almost. It's so quiet in here. You know, I was thinking just now with the amount of green onions that you use, yeah. you might as well have a green onion garden in the back. I know. Like just take a big plot of land and just plant as many green onions as you can. I know. It's kind of nuts. So here's the other thing. Oh, you take little pieces of I that just, for garnish? Right, I just, just a little bit. Oh, so fancy. On top of each one. So you know exactly what's going on, you know? Did you hear that? What? That was my stomach. Really? <laughs> my stomach just made like the weirdest, like feed me noise <laughs> it's ever made. We're almost there, boys. Yeah. Almost there. Um, yeah, so like the beautiful part of uh, deviled eggs is that you can make these things like pretty far in advance and people are okay with it. They, they hold nicely. Which you wouldn't really think so. Yeah. Well, think about hard boiled eggs in general hold pretty oh, nicely. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, I actually didn't think about that either. You could just make it really far in advance. But then here's the question. Do you like eating these like on the colder side or do you think that room temperature they're okay? Uh, I, I always think that um, unless it's ice cream or something, mm -hmm. when it's super cold, <laughs> there's not nearly as much flavor. Oh, right. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this. There you go. Double eggs. Lovely. No green on this middle guy. I wow. This guy. And then, a lot of pepper. I was giving it a tiny little bit of pepper. Look at it, it's all it's coming out. I'm actually getting a little bit. There you go. Boom, mother. Mother effer. And then I'll just have a little bit of this by myself over Lovely. here. This, a little smoked salmon on the top. A little green onion. This is the best reason to make hard boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. Right there, those guys. All right, it's been a good week. Thanks for hanging with us. Welcome back, Lynn. Tell you, <laughs> say thank you or something. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back, Lynn. There's no voice, nothing. <laughs> uh, next week. Monday, uh, we'll be coming to you from Fixtures Living in uh, Costa Mesa. Rest of the week, lots of fun. Don't know what's coming yet, but it'll all be great. Have a good weekend. Make something good to eat. Don't eat shitty food. See ya.